Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts, and today I'll be showing you how to make a mini piranha plant. For this project, you will need some black perler beads, red perler beads, dark green perler beads, lime green perler beads, and white perler beads. You will also need paint, foam, a little terracotta pot, and of course a paintbrush. Let's get started with the outline of this little guy. Fill up the mouth with some white perler beads and fill up some random spaces around the head of the piranha plant. Fill the head with red perler beads. Now that the head's done, you need to get your green perler beads out and fill in the stem. Fill in the bottom leaf with these dark green beads. The top part of the leaf will use this lime colored perler bead. For the root of the piranha plant, use any color because this part will not be seen. I used a translucent green for the root of the plant because I don't regularly use this color in any of my perler projects and it doesn't waste my black beads or any other colored beads. Once ironed, you should have a cute little piranha plant that can fit into a little pot that you will be painting. To make the green pot that the piranha plant will be living in, I got this small terracotta um, pot that only cost around 33 cents because it's from the dollar store. And I got a nice white paint first. I got a layer of green paint on top of that to make it really pop. The end result is this. Just like from the Mario games, it is a bright green pipe and it's the pot that will hold the prana plant. I put a layer of varnish on here so that's why it's so shiny. You can choose not to do that but I like it because then there's no scratchy noise. Ah. To fasten the prana plant to the pot, you'll need some sort of foam. This is from one of those children's playmat foams that I got and all I did was cut out a small circular piece made a slot in here for the bottom root to go and um, I also painted it green to match the pot. This fits perfectly inside like so so that it can hold up the piranha plant. Now it's time to assemble your final project. So what you do is stick it through these roots here will be underneath here so you won't see it at all. The top part of the stem will be seen. And then all you have to do is stick it into your pot and your piranha plant will be standing. One final thing with the piranha plant is that you have to fill in this area with some black perler beads or brown perler beads. I suggest to use some other brand maybe like these Ikea Pizzla beads. These aren't really useful for my projects because they're way too small and they iron out to be way too thin. So I'll be using these black beads and not my regular perler beads. You can use brown or even maybe just some pebbles that you get from the craft store. And it'll look just like it's from the game. You can choose to glue it if you want. Um, that will require a lot of gluing and a lot of layers of glue. I'm just going to keep it like this for now due to simplicity and the timing of this video. So that is it for the filling of the piranha plant. So that is it for my mini piranha plant tutorial. You can make this for your friends or your boss, just give it to them as a little desk decoration or you can just put it on the windowsill. But either way, it is a cool little craft 
to show your love for everything Mario. It's pretty simple to make as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another cutie craft.